Hey guys, it's Tom Firo PK. Welcome back to another gem editor tutorial. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can script airstrikes. So scripting airstrikes mean you will add airstrikes and they will manually spawn into the battlefield, drop bombs or do strafing runs and then disappear. That is scripting airstrikes. Another one is calling airstrikes as reinforcement, but we are not gonna do this one. We are not gonna do the calling airstrike as reinforcements on today's video. That will be a different video. Alright, so in order to do airstrikes first, um, use any of the plane. Use the Russian, the Il-2 or the German BF110 E2 this one's this one is equipped with bombs and if you don't set up the aircraft before using scripting the airstrike script then your plane will spawn into the battlefield and use the machine gun but Remember one thing, on Getzofel there is a program where planes automatically use the cannons in front of them on enemy infantry or tanks and then drop bombs when bombs are selected. So currently the plane has two 250 pound bombs and four 50 pound bombs. So today we are gonna use the 250 and then we are gonna use the 50. Both of them I'm going to show you and the plane will automatically use its cannons on enemy tanks and infantry if they're near the target or if they're on the path of the airstrike. So we have our plane and we have on the bottom left corner of the screen we have selected the 250 times 2 bomb. Now to add the pilot German pilot so this plane requires two of them okay get in all right now we are gonna add a tag control T we're gonna add plane and then another tag hidden because we want this plane to be hidden and at a random time or at a given time this plane will come in drop bombs and then disappear okay now follow what I do select the plane then go to properties on the right side go to chases current select it open up the drop down menu and select airborne then go to the airborne section select altitude and select uh, edit it to 20 press enter okay now you're done on the first part select airborne and then altitude 20 drag the plane out of the map now open up the waypoint section and add a waypoint this is where the plane will drop the bomb now we're gonna script so this is um, air strike so follow what I do first add go to actor go to air attack on selector open it go to the tag section and add plane our tagged plane then go to move from back and tick mark it the plane will move from out of the map if you select this one the plane will move from out of the map then switch off random weapon okay Weapon to attack is 0 
and attack altitude is 20. Do not set attack altitude below 15. Alright, otherwise the plane will get destroyed by the shock wave of the explosion or of the bomb that it will drop. Alright, do not go below 15. Set altitude according to the uh, terrain height. If you are dropping bomb on a hill, try to adjust the altitude then set it up. So I would prefer 20 for flat surfaces if the surface is at zero level. Alright, so altitude is 20. If you have the flat surface at 20 height, height at 20 then go 40. Always be 20, always add 20 to your attack altitude depending on the length of your height. Alright, so as our height is 0, so we're gonna add 20. Done. Now, add another one, actor, air state. On air state, select the plane, then select ground. Okay. Next, add delay. Inside delay, set it to 1. Set the time to 1. Then another air state. Here, add altitude 20. And on selector, go to plane and select it. So, we are done. Now, to test it. Start. Oh, before starting, save your progress. Then click start. Now the plane is coming. Now this will drop bomb. And the pier. So this was the 250 pound times 2 bomb that was dropped. Right now we're gonna drop the 50 pound bomb. 50 pound times 4 bomb. Alright, select the plane. Now go to select the second one, SC50HE. Then save your progress. Click start. And now see. One, two, three, four. Alright. So you don't have to worry about the cannons because if there is a tank or an enemy infantry nearby the plane will automatically use its cannon. Let me demonstrate. Alright now we are going to set up some enemy personnel. Let's set up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 Soviets. We also need a tank. Alright, we have placed the tank on the waypoint where the bomb will be dropped. And in order to destroy this tank, we will need the 250 times 2 bomb. Alright, save your progress. Click start. that uh, the plane used its cannon on that Russian infantry. So on a wider map the cannon will be used properly. So this was just a demonstration that 
Only setting up the bomb will do. The cannons will automatically fire at targets that will come along its path. Its path of attack. So this was how to script airstrikes during a battle, during a scenario, a cinematic. So if you guys are creating cinematics, this is how you properly script an airstrike. So hope this video will help you guys do some wonderful things in the editor and also if you I will be doing the how to call in airstrikes as a reinforcement all right there will be two types of videos so before you guys keep asking on the comment section I have already told you that I will do a video about it this month all right this month is all about tutorials so yeah you guys can expect a lot of basic tutorials that will help you guys understand and learn and also use the editor more precisely. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.